back at you with another one. Another one. It's the Steve Monahan Show. Hope you're having a good time. We sure are. Tonight, we're going to be talking about Godzilla X Kong, The New Empire. Yeah, yeah. Movie review. We both went and saw the movie. We both loved it. Stay tuned. Lots of spoilers ahead. So, Godzilla X Kong. Yes, sir. Budget of only $135 million. Mm-hmm. That's the, the smallest of all the MonsterVerse films. The smallest? Yep. Oh, Comes out shit. and does $194 million opening weekend, crushing it at the wow. box. Wow. Yeah, nice, yeah. nice, nice. Godzilla X Kong. Everybody go see it. Mm-hmm. It's a good movie, action packed. Yeah. Start to Support finish. Support it. Support the movie. Support the MonsterVerse. So, warnings there's going to be a lot of spoilers in this. Mm hmm. This video contains spoilers for Godzilla X Kong, The New Empire. So this is your last chance to see the movie spoiler free. You've been warned, peasants. So we're, we're used to spoilers now. Yeah, I guess, I guess. You know, so basically this movie starts out. Yeah. There's no build up to it, I felt like, where Kong's running away from these like uh I don't know. Killer wolves is the best way I could describe it. Yeah. So Inner, you feel like middle it started Earth off too fast. Not that it started off fast. A little bit of a backstory would have helped a little, I think. Yeah. You know, why is he being chased? Yeah. What the f*** happened? Yeah. Something is he like hun- that. Is he hunting them because they he set up traps? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, yeah. maybe he's hunting them, but they yeah. look to be hunting him. I guess that's the strategy. Yeah, but you he was were using himself the show, as like bait. It would have been nice to, to see Kong actually setting up the traps. Yeah. 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 So these wolves are chasing him and he stops and pulls one of his traps mm-hmm. and it basically opens up a cavern into a deeper part of hollow earth middle earth and then boom the movie just jumps to skyla in rome yeah. tearing up shit in rome right and godzilla getting pissed off and going to no fight. backstory there either yeah skyla yeah. no backstory where did skyla come from not that he didn't exist, but where was his lair? Right. You know, we saw Scar King's lair, basically Shimo's lair. You know, yeah. Zilla's in the Coliseum sleeping yeah. like a little pet. Yeah, I think this Skylar just was there to to get one shotted by Godzilla. Basically, got blown to pieces like the lady uh, microwaves a gremlin and gremlins. <laughs> yeah, he, he destroyed Skylar. No problem. <laughs> there was no problem there. Yeah. But sleeping in the sleeping in the coliseum, like it's his little pet bed. <laughs> <laughs> and then boom, the movie jumps again, essentially yeah. to like Kong, right, coming up from Middle Earth to go see the monarch dentist in Barbados. Yeah, I think he's got Obamacare. Yeah. Well, Kong is down there, basically alone, constantly looking for family. Yeah, he's been looking for family the whole. The whole series, if you want to call he it that. He thinks he hears an ape roar. It winds up being like a frog. Yeah, the frog played him <laughs> out. You know, and he's just depressed, alone, and he's got a toothache. You often see him staring at his reflection in the river yeah, or the yeah. lake. You see him looking up at the stars. Yeah. You know, so he's kind of lonely. So he he uh, he goes up because he's in so much pain with his tooth. Then it jumps again to, like, Gia. Yeah. The little uh, Mm -hmm. mute girl, deaf girl. Yeah. That uh, she's having like these strange visions and stuff. Yeah. She's in she's in American school. Yeah, she's in school in 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 Barbados. Yeah. And yeah, she's just having a hard time adjusting, and she starts seeing the visions, and the vision that she basically uh, writes on her desk and on on two sheets of paper is the same as the signal. Mm-hmm. That they're receiving from the hollow earth And the way they fi- figure this all out Is the government monarch mom Gia's mom yeah, Winds up going to meet Melatonin rich Alex Jones <laughs> Who by the way yeah, has been Bernie, right Bernie Bernie. His yeah. name's Bernie Who's been right Yeah Seems like he's always right You know what I mean That's That's kind of a problem I had with his character He seems like he just knows everything on the spot That's why I call him Alex Jones you know. 
I, like he was there just to push the, the story a lot uh, along, which is a lot with the Judy. He did, he do. did. He was the best character in my opinion. He's okay. a, he was my favorite character out of all the human characters. You know, who was your favorite human character? Um, I like for for the humans. Uh, I like Gia. Gia, yeah, huh? I Gia? yeah, I yeah, because I think it's it's um, Godzilla versus Kong was her first movie. This is her second. She's deaf in real life, and. You know, it's difficult to convey expressions on your face and act without talking. And I mm. think she does really, she does it really good. So does Kong. But I think, yeah, I think the, he's fake. the best actor in the movie to me is Kong. Yeah. 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 So can, can a, can a yeah. CGI. Shout out to Kong. Shout out to Kong. Can a CGI we gotta monster. We got to get you in the hot seat, Kong. Can a CGI monster, a Titan, win an Oscar? Yeah, imagine that. <laughs> imagine that. That's like yeah, in a fan fantasy but, world. But before we go on, you know, Kong was like very expressive in the movie. You had large chunks of the movie where it was just Kong. Ooh. Yeah, conveying stuff through yeah. his facial expressions, grunts and groans. And yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was kind of cool. So Kong is up from Hollow Earth. Yeah. Going to the dentist. Yeah. He's going to Ooh. see Gay Ventura. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. What's Tra his name? Trapper. 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 Okay. Trapper. He was like the MacGyver. Yeah. And Trapper gives him the metal tooth. Yeah. Kong's feeling Pulls it. Pulls his tooth out. Gives him the metal tooth. And then they want, you know, they're waiting for Kong to go up so that they could basically uh, go down with him and check out what the sick, where the signal was coming from. Well, they didn't know about the signal until yeah. Alex Jones told them. Right. He's uh, the one who cracked Bernie, the code. Bernie. Bernie. Yeah. He begged to to take the trip to hollow earth she he left. realized it's a distress call mm -hmm. so yeah monarch mom bernie gays ventura yeah and gi joe yeah decide to go to hollow earth yeah oh and gia yeah and gia they decide to go to hollow earth bernie's all uh yeah giddy and happy mm -hmm. yeah he was happy because that's you know he had a. Uh, he had people not believing his story because Monarch really didn't acknowledge that he was part of it at first. Yeah, so definitely not. So, yeah, and he had he had Ghidorah Stan sixty four was the troll. <laughs> on that, his, uh, that was the troll. Yeah, that was, that the, was the name. That was the troll on his podcast. He mentioned something <laughs> about a troll. He's uh -huh. like, "Do you know who the, who this person is?" To the Monarch mom. Yeah, she was like, "No." So, so all right, they go down there, and. Uh, Whatever they land, they go look to to see the monarch outpost in right. in, in Middle Earth. Right. What's it called? Hollow Earth, Middle Earth. Hollow Earth. Hollow Earth. Yeah. Okay. I think it's monarch. That was uh, monarch outpost one. Outpost in one. Earth. Yeah. Outpost one. Mm -hmm. So while they're doing that, Kong meets little Suko. Yeah. You know. Yeah. First time seeing somebody else of his kind since yeah. his parents died. Yeah. Suko winds up biting him at first yeah. and kind of running away and Kong chases him. Yeah. And then Suko was setting him up. Yeah. All these other apes come out and jump Kong. Yeah. The Kong is just shocked just to see yeah, him. Yeah, just at to first. see him. He's like, whoa, what the? And now they want to beat his ass. Uh huh. Part of that scene is he winds up kicking the shit out of them. Yeah. Gives one of them a 300. This is Sparta kick. Yeah. You know? He, tr he actually, he, a he was. That he actually ace, saved him. Yeah, he him. was trying to save him at yep, first. Yep. And then when he picked the knife up again, that's when he kicked him. That was when he gave him, him the kick. kick. Yeah. And then he picks up Suko and starts beating other apes with yeah, him. Yeah, he's <laughs> using him out like, little Suko as his weapon. Yeah, threw him at him like a baseball. So one ape winds up running away. Yeah. And Kong picks up a boulder and Kong Montana's it. <laughs> Bang! Right yeah. into right into the guy's head, into the ape's head. Yeah, and now basically, I didn't really love all of that. The the three hundred kick. Yeah, and the Kong Montana. It was a little corny. Yeah, they definitely take from other movies, you know, like they did in the last one with like Jaws and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. Predator, they ripped yeah, of this course. Rip Mecha Godzilla's of course. head off like Predator ripped. Use what works, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the idea behind it, and people love it anyway, you know. But uh, he makes Suko take him to the take him to where the apes are, are going. Yeah, 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 yeah. But before all of that, yeah. it flashes back to Zilla. Yeah, and Zilla's going to France, Spain, right. and Germany, 
and charging just up. charging up. Yeah. Getting ready to fight Tiamat. You now know, that's he's a scene. sucking radiation out of all of these nuclear radiation plants. And that's a scene that I really liked because none of the other movies in the past really showed him actually feeding. Feeding, on the res- yeah. On the, on you got to see both Kong. That was so cool. And Zilla eat in this one. Yeah. We've seen Kong eat. But yeah. This was the first time we got to see Zilla eat. Yeah. And that was pretty sick. He charged himself up. So while he's charging, the military's coming, sending drones, Mm -hmm. shooting missiles at him, and that's when you see him do the blue burst. Yeah. Nuclear pulse. Yeah, the nuclear pulse. Yeah. Takes out all of the drones. But he's charging up for something, Well, yeah, he's charging up to go fight Tiamat. As soon as he does that pulse, he breaks out to Tiamat's lair. He's trying to go there to supercharge. Yeah. Yeah, so he uh, fights Tiamat. That doesn't last very long. (laughs) (laughs) Tiamat gets chopped up like some grilled octopus. (laughs) Zilla beats Tiamat like Pitbull beat the shit out of Rolly Romero. Yeah, that's kind of, you know what I'm thinking about right now since you reference in other movies? Uh, when Tiamat's bits and pieces start floating up mm-hmm, in the water, mm-hmm, kind of reminds mm-hmm. me of Jaws too. Yeah. And when the shark gets okay. blown up, All right. chunks start coming up. Yeah, man. All right. So Tiamat gets wrecked. Godzilla goes into her lair to basically consume. supercharge. Yeah. Now this is like Tiamat's is lair is like uh, in in a Antarctica huge in the source Arctic. of energy, though, right? Yeah. Something about the radiation field around Earth and the sun. And yeah. Whatever, whatever. So Godzilla is just consuming all of it. Yeah, yeah. he's supercharging into Barbie Zilla. And meanwhile, Kong and Suko are like bonding. Basically, Suko tries to screw him over again, right? They go yeah, in the water. Yeah, was he trying to yeah, screw he, him yeah, over there? You the, think? Yeah, he knew he, he was knew there. that thing was there. So That's, yeah, they go to the mm-hmm. water. They start sipping the water and bathing essentially. Yep. And this sea creature out of nowhere in the water comes to attack Kong. Yeah. Basically and Suko like runs away. Suko's like, I, I'm like out creature. now. Yeah, like a giant snake thing. Yeah. Almost look like Tiamat. Yeah. And then Kong takes him out, throws the axe, trips Suko up, basically throws the head of the creature there. Yeah, he winds up killing it, eating it with Suko. Yeah. Yeah, Suko's hungry. He gives him a piece. And then <laughs> I think that's when they really bonded. Suko went over and sat next to him. And yeah. from that point on, he was like riding with Kong the rest of the way. Yeah. Yeah. He, he figured uh, Khan was helping him. Kong was helping, you know? Yeah. So before they even get to Kong and Suko, Yeah. Uh, before Kong and Suko get to Scar King's lair. Right. They cross this carcass bridge. It's like the remains of a huge titan. Yeah. What the fuck was that yeah, thing? Yeah, it was tremendous. It was I, so I saw big. a YouTube video basically trying to, to recreate it based off the skeleton. And it's just tremendous. It's like they would. It's it would be like thirty three Kongs or something like that. Wow, wow! Yeah, it was it was it was huge. And while and all of this four, is going four, on, four uh, four legged creature. The video was trying to say too. So I don't know what it was, but like a big dug. Yeah. While Tsuko and Kong are crossing this giant bridge. Yeah. The monarch mom is basically reading. The Iwi history of the Titans. Right. With something about eating a star, Space Godzilla possibly in the next one. So this 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 part to me is really confusing because people have been trying to break it down and everything else. Um Zosla Halawa, right? Mm-hmm. That's that's supposedly the the Titan who ate a star, the Godzilla species who ate a star. And he was supposed to be in Godzilla vs. Kong on on the cave wall, but they took they removed that scene. So now she's saying, "Oh, it's the Titan that ate a star," and then Gase Ventura over there says Godzilla. Mm. So I'm not sure if they're if they're if it's following a Godzilla that or not. Or not. Yeah, it's, yeah. you know what I mean. Is is the Titan who ate a star Godzilla? Is it Space Godzilla? Is it Zosla Halawa? Who is it? That's that's confusing to me. So we don't know. We nah. don't know. Yeah. So eventually, Suko brings Kong to see his relatives right. for the first time. Yeah. yeah. And he's looking at these apes and gorillas, whatever, whatever. And 
he's in shock because they look like they're doing like slave work. They mm-hmm. look like slaves. And it turns out, he, you know, that's exactly what it was. Right. The one guard, the one slave master went straight to Kong. Rah, 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 yeah, now what would yapping they, in his face. What were they even doing? Just moving rocks? What was yeah, the purpose? I don't what, know. They were was, building something, I yeah. assume. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. And Kong. Bang! Yeah, he just, straight right hand yeah, lays just, him out. Screaming in his face, it just gets one shot at tongue hanging out. Uh. That's when you get to see Kong versus Scar King round one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Scar King comes out all slick looking like what, what, is, what is this dude, you know? Yeah, he's got the, the whip. The, the whip. Yeah. With that the, was a cool with the weapon. crystal at the end. Dope weapon, no? Yeah, it was I, all right. I think maybe know, maybe it's I sp- wasn't loving it. The spine of a war bat or a skull crawler or something, something like, like that. that. But it's got the crystal at the end of it. Yeah. So so Scar King has essentially got a trick up his sleeve, right? You know? Right. Which is Shima. Right. He points and wiggles the, the the crystal at the end of his whip. Yeah. At Shimo and yeah. then points it wherever else and you know, right. Shimo attacks essentially. But anyway, he's he, he at first he's getting the upper hand on Kong. He's pretty slick with it. Yeah. He's like yeah. he's fast. Yeah. He hurts Kong. Yeah. He hurts Kong and then he uh he, he he basically wraps the the whip around his neck and starts choking him. Mm-hmm. And then Kong just basically flips him over his shoulder and ragdolls him. Yeah, man. Kong and was then, a bit of a savage in this one too. Yeah. And then uh Scar King basically calls Shimo out. And Kong looks a little shook. <laughs> yeah. Shimo blasts his ice breath he's at got Kong. Shimo, he's got Shimo chained up. Yeah, all chained up. Dog collar, basically. Points it's, the crystal at Shimo, and her, uh, her head goes down. He, yeah, it's she, like don't, a, she don't even want to do it. Right, it's like a shock collar. It's almost like, yeah, almost like a shock uh, shock collar. Yeah. Like, yeah. she seemingly unwillingly doesn't want to do anything Scar King tells her to do. Yeah, Scar King has to point it a few times to get her to blast it at him. Yeah. But then she does... He blasts Kong with it. Kong grabs the axe, trying to block it, and that's right. how he gets the frostbite. Yeah. So when that's going on, Suko basically tells Kong how to get out of there. He's mm-hmm. pointing how to get out of there. Kong runs out of there. Kong runs out, goes yeah. to meet up with Gia. Yeah. They uh, give Kong... You know, they're, they're shocked, basically, that Kong even showed up there and 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 brought another ape with him. Yeah, know? yeah, they're shocked about little Suko. Yeah, you know, Kong's pretty hurt, pr- hurt pretty bad. He tells G, I lost my home. And now they, they got to go out. They got to figure out what to do, right? Yeah, yeah, they call, you know, Trapper, Gase Ventura to the rescue. Yeah. And he gets the Infinity Gauntlet, Beast Glove. Yeah. He basically seems like he's always, like, got whatever they need at the snap of a finger. Yeah. You know, they're in hollow huh. earth. Oh, yeah, I'll just scoot over here five minutes and go get it. Yeah. It's right around the corner, bro. <laughs> and get what bro. we need to save bro, the world. it's right around oh, the corner. Yeah, I'll forgot. go get it. I left it over there at the in the outpost. Yeah, it's in the garage. Yeah. <laughs> Gase Ventura jumps into action and dun 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 the Beast Glove appears. Yeah. And every time Gase Ventura is on Which, the scene... Which, by the way, Kong loves. Every time Gase Ventura is on the scene, they're playing like some ridiculous music or some <laughs> song, some 70s terrible ass. I so, didn't like the soundtrack. It is, I didn't like the, the score. And then again, it, it jumps. Been it jumps again. This right. is when Zilla busts out as Barbie Zilla yeah. out of Tiamat's Leia. Okay. He looks fantastic in pink, by the way. Yeah, he's, he's, full, <laughs> he's, he's fully evolved. He looks fabulous. Fabulous. <laughs> so the mother of all titans, is, is she a MILF? <laughs> <laughs> Poor Shimo. Shimo didn't want to be doing none of this. None of it. Shimo's <laughs> like, I want to go play bridge. <laughs> so, all right. So we got evolved pink Godzilla. Atomic pink. Yeah, man. Khan goes up to get Zilla. Yeah. You know, he gets well, scared because of Skull King and uh, Shimo. Yeah. Yeah, Gia basically tells Kong that they need help. Yeah. So Kong goes up to get Zilla, but but yeah, worried about it because you know they fought in the last movie, so they figured that they might fight again if Kong goes up to the surface. They want him to be teammates. Yeah. Godzilla, if you wake up and start fucking shit up, Godzilla's coming to check you. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Kong comes out of Hollow Earth, Middle Earth. Yeah. And. uh Winds up in Cairo, Egypt, yeah. next to the pyramids, and yeah. basically calls out. Rah! Yeah. 
Yeah. And Godzilla was in Gibraltar. Yeah. Right? On the big mountain rock Gibraltar. That was a, that was a cool scene when he stepped up to the of top Gibraltar. of the mountain and, and jumped off into the water when he heard Kong's call. Yeah. Yeah. That was cool. He responded first and yep. said, yep, I'm coming. Mm -hmm. Be right there. Yeah. And he pops up in Cairozilla and just charges at Kong. Yeah. And, uh... And Kong is just basically like, no, he's like, no, you know, like, chill out, man. <laughs> he's trying to point, yeah, he's trying to point, he's trying to point to the hole for the hollow earth and try to, you know, explain to Godzilla that he's not there to beef. Yeah. <laughs> but and Godzilla ain't trying, ain't to, trying hear to hear that. that. He just shoulder tackles him through the pyramid. Yeah. Roman Reigns spears him right through the pyramid. Him. Yeah, he speared him. Yeah. So but, while all this is going on, Gia got to go wake up Mothra. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the when 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 she, back to the hit the rewind for a hot second. Back when uh when they were reading the explanation on the caves, it said that a, their prophecy, the Iwi tribe's prophecy, basically, which we didn't really get into that they met the Iwi tribe, you know, but uh, they read that they read that stuff on the cave and it said that uh, a. a of uh, Iwi from Skull Island was gonna be the one to make up wake up Mothra. And yeah. The only surviving Iwi from Skull Island is Gia. Gia is the only sole survivor. Yeah. So all right. So, so yeah. Gia wakes up Mothra and mm -hmm. Mothra immediately flies up to surface Earth out of yeah. Middle Earth. Yeah. And Godzilla and Kong are scrapping. Yeah. Kong's like fuck it and starts fighting back. He finally fights back. He yeah. gives him a big shot and drops. Oh, but wait, Godzilla before with that, the before beast that, before that, Godzilla suplexed him. Yeah. Too. Yeah, a yeah. full suplex. Right? Yeah. yeah. So that, so yeah, so then Kong starts cracking him with the beast glove. Well, the first crack dropped him. Yeah. And then he just starts grounding pounding him. Yeah. And eventually actually knocks out Godzilla. Yeah. That was cool. You know, it was pretty cool. There's I some thought. fans that are such dorks where it's like they're either so so uh, behind Godzilla or so behind Kong that little moments. Like I thought that, that was fucking, great, and then and then he's got yeah, his it was tail cool over his shoulder, yeah, dragging him. Yeah, that was you awesome know, to man. bring him to Hollow Earth, Middle Earth to great go scene. fight Skull King and Shima. Yeah, and then Godzilla wakes up yeah, while he's being dragged. Yeah, and starts so it starts firing like, what the his fuck? atomic and charges breath. up. Yeah. And he's ripping, ripping through pyramids with it. <laughs> so boom, that's when Mothra shows up. Yeah, she basically knocks Godzilla off his feet too with like her light blast. Or yeah, Zilla was about to kill uh, Kong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kong was done again. Yeah, foot on his chest. Yep, about to get splacked. charging up, mm -hmm. ready to blast him yeah. to uh, infinity. Yeah, and then I guess you know Mothra basically explains to Godzilla what the deal is. Yeah, yeah. And then they both roar, and then it's on popping. Then they go down there. Yeah. So Skull King leaves with a bunch of apes and Shimo to try to get out of the Hollow Earth himself. This is correct. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So then, um, yeah. So then, so then, as they're walking through, then Godzilla and Kong come down there. Right. Yeah. And that's um, that's when you see Godzilla and Kong running. Yeah, they're doing the Rocky now they, Apollo now the Iwis, beach scene. The Iwis basically did some stuff where it makes it it makes it lose gravity. They make the two pyramids yeah. smash together, smash basically, together, and it loses it and the, and the, and it basically zero gravity for for a few minutes. That's exactly yeah. 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 So when so uh, they're running at him. Uh, Kong jumps on Godzilla and they all launch in the air at each other. And then boom. Yeah, the whole riding on Shimo and yeah. Zilla with Skull King and right. Kong jumping off. Yeah. I didn't like it. You didn't like that part. I thought it was a little cheesy. Yeah. For lack of a better word. Be, I think it was supposed to be cheesy, that scene. You know what I mean? Like then, I think that's for kids. Then with scene. the zero gravity, all four Titans happen to fall through the portal. Yeah. You know, yeah, from the inner slow motion coming out, scenes coming of out. each one of their faces was kind of cheesy yep, too, yep. right there. It's coincidence that all four of them happened to fall through. Yeah, yeah, but they're 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 battling it out in zero gravity for a little while, which was cool. The apes are throwing Suko's mm -hmm. throwing rocks at the apes. Mothra's webbing up apes. Yeah, yeah, that was real cool to see Mothra in the battle with them. Um, and then. Uh, yeah, so they all go falling back through the hole mm -hmm. to go back to the surface. 
and start uh, fighting uh, up there. Kong had grabbed grabbed the axe back and then lost it again. It got stuck in the ground when they went through the hole. So all right, so they come up. They're still fighting and brawling. Shimo's really strong. Shimo yeah, she tossed was, Zilla she and Kong. She's big. She's strong. She's super strong. Yeah, she's very very powerful Titan. And um, you know, Scar King and Shimo basically get to the surface first, right? Yeah. 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 And then Scar King. Um, want Shimo to like freeze out the sun basically creating a, a whole nother ice age freeze yeah. everything yeah freezing everything he shoots a, be a, a beam up at, the, up at the sun that was pretty crazy people running everywhere and then Godzilla and Kong get up there and they start beefing right mm. Scott uh, Kong knocks Scott King's tooth down yeah big shot from Kong in the beast glove yeah that he was, loves that thing. Kong yeah. absolutely loves yeah, the Beast did, Glove. He did love the... Well, Trapper said he's either going to love it or rip it off with his teeth. That yeah. he wound up really he loving it. He wound up loving it. Yeah. That thing was pretty serious. Yeah. So. Scar King uh, ripped off a piece of the building and and, and threw it, at, uh, whipped it at Kong, and he, he uh, punched it with the Beast Glove. That was dope. Yeah, so Shimo Zilla. Yeah. That, that was the big matchup everybody was waiting to see. Godzilla was handling her, though. Godzilla was handling everybody in this movie, man. Like, I didn't feel like he was sweating Shimo that much. Shimo um, froze him real quick in the Hollow Earth, but he busted, he busted out Busted out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zilla's supercharged Barbie Tiamat Leia pink atomic breath didn't even bother Shimo, though. Yeah, it did it. It did it. Shimo took it like right to the face, I think, yeah. too, when he was like fighting. Like right on the side of the face. Yeah. Didn't even bother her. Yeah. Maybe not, though. You know? Because then she I see. I don't know. I don't know. She re Towards the end, we'll get to that. But uh, but anyway, so they're fighting, knocks uh, Scar King's tooth out, and they're beefing. You, do you feel like the end fight could have been a little longer? Did you get what you wanted to see out of that? I mean, Skull King was not any sort of competition for anyone. Yeah, and that's... Like, and he Shimo, was such a cool Zilla. villain. He was such an evil villain. I like Skull King, man. They, he just wasn't powerful. He, wasn't he, he as was powerful. about as powerful as, like, Tiamat. I guess, You know, yeah. like, he just got... He would have got beat up and destroyed. He had pretty slick skills. It's just... You know what it is? It's just Godzilla and Kong are such badasses. You know what I mean? And I think that's what Adam Wingard wanted to do. He wanted to show you how how, how bad them two are. Not um, only are they, they bad, but ass. Shimo's bad too. Yeah. You know, like without that crystal, which eventually, uh, was it Suko that knocked yeah, it out? Yeah, so now Somebody Suko, knocks it out. Suko, Suko didn't get through the hole as quick as the rest of them. And so when, she, when he goes through, he grabs the axe and falls through. That's right. Right? And now Kong and, and uh, Scar King are fighting and um, and actually uh, Godzilla grabs the the whip mm, and breaks it in it. his yeah, mouth. Yeah, bites it. And the crystal, and the crystal falls flies off. away. And now Scar Kong King's and, trying to go get Kong it. Kong and Scar King are fighting to get it. And Suko winds up grabbing it, right? Yeah, well, well no. Suko just... Suko just breaks it with the axe oh okay all right it causes That's a, a big blast yeah big blast freeze yeah. shimo from her uh chains yeah let's say yeah now shimo's shaking his cheek and shaking her head she don't know what to do she looks at kong then she looks at godzilla and he starts charging up like he's gonna he's gonna fire his atomic breath at her again yeah. that's what i was trying to say yeah, she was looking yeah. like she didn't want it right there yeah, she was looking yeah, 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 <laughs> exactly. And did the right thing instead of the wrong thing. Yeah, so she fro she froze Scar King quick, you know. Yeah, but yeah. You can man. see his eye moving around behind the <laughs> ice, you know. And then, um, yeah, Kong basically just uh, picks him up and slams him on the ground and into breaks a him million into a pieces. million pieces.